Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get texture in straight hair. Now my hair naturally is very straight, very fine, can't really do a lot with it and it's very silky which actually makes it really difficult to do anything with it and it just doesn't look how I want it to look. So I've got five products here that have really helped me get texture in my hair, give me something to work with basically because this it's not good. So the first product that I'm gonna show you is something that I love in general, and this is dry shampoo. Now this one in particular is one I picked up recently, and this is the Tony and Guy Casual Texture Matte Dry Shampoo. And this one is brilliant, it smells amazing, and it does give your hair texture, it makes it very feel very matte and kind of grip worthy. If you've got kind of dirty hair anyway, and you're looking for something that's gonna improve the texture, improve that grip, then definitely pick up some of this. There's obviously millions and thousands and hundreds of dry shampoos on the market, but this is just one that I've been trying out recently, and I think it's pretty nice. But um, yeah, so dry shampoo is a brilliant way to get some volume, texture, and grip in your hair. So next up, I have some hairsprays. The first one I've got is, oh god, they're both by the same brand, I didn't even realise. Um, Scott Scott got to be a happy hour, 24 hour hairspray. This is my all time favourite. You guys must know if you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm sure I've used this in some hair videos before. I basically picked this up because of the colour of the packaging, um, but actually it's really good. And if I curl my hair, this is a brilliant way to just keep that curl in place. It stays up all day, smells amazing, and the bottle is really pretty as well. <laughs> Don't judge a book by cover, but this actually is worth judging. It's really good. And I just find if I use this, then my hair will stay put, especially if I'm curling it. That's when I would pick up this hairspray, and it just keeps it in like this I curled this morning and it's still got a bit of a curl in it which is good for my hair normally this would just be straight if I hadn't sprayed anything so definitely worth a shot then I might as well go on to the other hairspray that I've got since it's by Scorchcroft as well and this is got to be made for mess texturizing hairspray now this is a bit of a different hairspray I probably wouldn't use this on curls as much I do obviously use it on curls it's fine it works brilliantly but this is also really good if I've just got straight hair but it's too silky, it's not got much movement in it, and I just want a bit of, mmm, something in there, something like grip worthy and texture and make me look a bit cool, you know? And this is the one, basically. I've only just picked this up recently, it's a new purchase of mine, but I love it. It's a messy hairspray, basically. So if you've got very straight hair, very neat hair, you want that kind of messy look, you find it quite difficult, or you want that messy look to be able to put your hair up, um, this is definitely one to try out. Um, sometimes when I put my hair up in a ponytail, it's just too silky, like I said. So I'll spray this all over, upside down, and then I've got something to work with. So definitely like this. Don't like the packaging as much as the 24-hour um, happy hair spray, but, you know, you can't win them all. So then I've got a volume product, and I've featured this before, and you guys are probably so bored of me talking about it, but it's by Milkshake, and I just love it. It's a volume styling spray. I spray this on my hair when it's towel dried, so when I've just washed it. I just spray it at the roots, sometimes I spray it at the ends as well, just to give a bit of volume there too. And I always find that my hair feels a lot thicker when I've used this. It has a little bit of more of a matte feel, it's not so shiny and silky, which I like. And yeah, if I don't use this, I just can notice the difference, basically. I just like the fact that it gives me volume. I like the fact that it works because I've gone through millions of volume products that don't work. So this one is good for my hair at the moment. If you're looking for one, then maybe give it a try. I'm not saying that it will work, but for my hair it does. So if you have exactly the same hair as me, I'm sure it will work on yours. So love this. And also the range smells so good. It smells like you're spraying fudge cake into your hair, but like really good fudge cake. It's good enough to eat. <laughs> Lastly, of course, it is sea salt spray. Now, sea salt spray is my saviour, always has been, and this, oh my god, it's Scottish Coughed again. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm, I swear this video is not sponsored, I didn't even realise. I just picked these things up for the packaging. But anyway, yeah, Scottish Coughed got to be Beach Matte Mermaid Look Texturising Salt Spray. And I've been using this one now for a good few years. Um, I love this product. For salt spray, I find that some of them don't work on my hair. I need a really good one, but one that's not gonna make my hair really sticky because I can't stand having sticky hair. There's nothing worse than sticky hair when you've just washed it. So this one does not leave your hair sticky. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy. And actually you wouldn't even know that it was in your hair, except for the fact that it just gives you that little bit of texture 
And when you curl your hair afterwards, when it's dried, it does stay in a lot easier. It stays in a lot longer. But again, if I'm wearing my hair in a top knot and my hair's already dry and it's a bit flat and a bit lifeless, I will just scrunch some of this through, blast it with a hairdryer again, and I've got that texture right back in there. Um, and yeah, this was really good when I had really short hair as well. So if you've got a bob that's really straight and you just want something to kind of scrunch into it just to give it a bit more of a messy look, this was my life saver when I had short hair and didn't know what to do with it. So definitely give that a go. And again, it smells really good and it looks quite pretty as well. Little did I know they were all the same company and product, but obviously Squatch Scruff got to be catches my eye in Tesco. What can I say? So guys, that is how I like to get grip and texture into my straight hair. I know not all of you guys are going to have straight hair, but this will also work on your hair if you've got curly hair, wavy hair, that just needs some grip and texture in there as well. Sometimes I just really hate having my hair silky, it just doesn't do anything, I can't do anything with it, but obviously I also like that look as well, so it depends what you're going for, but hopefully that made sense. I don't know if that made sense. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. The button is down there, down below. You just give it a click and you can stay up to date with all Tiny Twist stuff. And I will see you again soon for another video. And God, my back is aching. It's really hard sitting on a bed again. What do you guys think of my new like surroundings? I kind of miss sitting in a bedroom. So I'm back in my bedroom and yeah, I hope you guys like it. So let me know. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> Mwah.